It's been a while since I bring another video tonight. Today I want to show you a video about one of the one of my hacks that I've been having for a while, but I haven't do review yet. And I think that this might be the best bushcraft axe that you can get in the market. This is one. This axe is made by by Dave Wenger of Wenger Blade, and this model is called Biohack. So it's like I think it's like Norse. Norse name uh, so I'm not too sure let me show you this a little bit you, got, you can see that right there that's a bell loop that you can retire your axe without another net and you can leave this uh, hanging in your belt pretty nice it's made by Sagewood sheath I think I don't, I don't know if I'm saying it right but this is top notch right there if you have any of his Sheath, you you know this is super super well done uh, and awesome. You guys leave uh, your blade cover right here as well, made by the same company, Sake Wood Gear. I think I'm even saying it wrong. You can see it snap right there. You can put in the right hand, the left hand. Um, it doesn't do any different because uh, it's an axe. <laughs> This one is made, like I say, by Dave Wenger, and this is a medium axe. I will say more like a hatchet or a tomahawk. It got a, a length of the blade, total. It's gonna be in the axe completely. It's gonna be uh, 14 inches overall, and the length of the the blade itself is gonna be. Three inches, the current line. This axe got a lot of work done to it. So the first thing I gotta tell you is pricey. This is not for everybody. This is for somebody that I don't know, somebody that's a collector or somebody that that can afford it. That's all I can say. Uh, but for somebody that really appreciate a well-made tool, there is many in the market that can do the same, but. It's, it, it doesn't offer the same that this one has to offer. I'll show you why. First, this is 80 CRB2 steel. You got 3A in the thickness. And you got, uh, as you, I can say, you got 3A in the thickness. You got a recess handle. So you can see that's a full tank hatchet or axe. There's not going to be breaking point right here. And what he did, he milled the hat, the, in the handle lane, he milled it. To like 316 tick so he can put the handle in place and it will be comfortable enough not adding too much thickness to it he had this right here that that's like a little hole right there and he has some particle wrapping around it that you got like more than 10 foot right there you need an emergency or something that's plenty that's plenty to use another thing that he had to he got this uh, bow drill so you need to make a fire, you got the core, you got the spindle right there, and it's, it's not too bulky and not too heavy for being comfortable to do what you need to do. You got that pommel right there, well, no, it's not a pommel, it's like the end of the, it's like the back of the axe that you can use it as a hammer. And another cool detail is this right there, the end of the, uh, the, the pommel of the axe is a digging tool as well, you can see right there what he did with the handle you can use it to dig a trench you can make a digging trench with this axe itself out of wood but if you are in a hurry you can use this one to do that you got three copper rivets holding the the handle in place and it's very well epoxy together so there's no there's no breaking point I haven't used it so this is how sharp it comes from factory And you can tell to be an axe or a hand or, or an axe or a hatchet, excuse me, is very sharp. Let me show you beside to a very a very popular axe so you can have some reference in the size. This is the the Granford Books Brooks Small Forest Axe. And you can see the line. This one is like 17 inch overall. This one is 14, so you got 3 inch less. The thickness of the head 
you can see the cut, cutting blade is a little smaller in the winger and the thickness way less thicker but you can see right there going to the end or to the cutting blade is pretty much very similar uh, let me do some tests uh, let's see what this puppy can do wood that I get from my bar yard uh, you can see it's 4 inch thick let's see how much effort does this little axe take Alright guys, you see what what this <laughs> what this axe can do. You got it to be as small small as it is. You got a very deep bite. This was after cutting a four inch uh, thick log. You can see there, still very very sharp. Let me see how it does splitting. That's excellent. To, pro to process wood is a pretty good axe. I forgot to tell you another of the the feature or detail that this axe that make it super super convenient is that it, you got this this decor right there beside to give you some uh, cordage when you need it. It give you the advantage of a comfortable handle in case that you break your knife, you lost your knife, and you have to use your axe. Uh, to do those tasks that you will have done with your knife 
for that they made they grind this side right here so it's not uncomfortable in top of your thumb and they grind this size as well like to do feather sticks It won't replace your knife on how comfortable it is, but it will make for sure your life easier if you need some tinder, if you need some tinder wood to start a fire or to feed a starting fire. Alright guys, this was uh, try to make it as short as possible. This is a axe made by, like I say, Dave Wenger. I don't have to say anything nice because I pay. <laughs> So I don't have any uh, any debt or something. So if it's shit, the axe is. If it's no good, it's no good. But if it, if I feel that it is a good tool that worth showing, I will recommend it. I will do, and that's what it's doing today. I believe that this may be the best uh, best bushcraft hatchet or axe that you can get. Uh, it's not the cheapest. It's not the more economic, but it's the best the best knife the best axe that I seen used for the, all that is put in the design material use you got ADC RB2 cast well finish that's the black like the black oxide so it doesn't get rust or stuff like that and made by Dave Wenger he's a journeyman uh, he's a journeyman smith and I think that he he have real real great design with this one right there you put this in your, in your belt and you have 80% of the work that you need to do in the wood with this little axe you put a knife and you get a 100% of what you need in the wood alright guys hopefully you like the video and see you in the next one